Movie-wise, an arrested development development. Jason Bateman is here. Which broadcaster could you least bear vacationing next to? And Rupert Murdoch, ne- uh, Rupert Murdoch's network declares we have never tortured anybody, and his newspaper declares the new Batman movie is actually a tribute to the wonderful abilityness of President Bush. Why? Because I say so. Arr. Worst persons next on Countdown. Good news, you get to vacation on Martha's Vineyard. Bad news, you have to stay next door to me, or to Matthews, or Limbaugh, or Billow the Clown. Who's worst? Next with Jason Bateman, but first time for Countdown's Worst Persons in the World. The bronze to Rupert Murdoch, who actually had this printed in his Wall Street Journal today. Uh, this is the review of the new Batman film, The Dark Knight, by a conservative mystery writer. Joseph Clavin wrote this, but I'll read it as Murdoch because, well, because I want to. There seems to be no, no question that the Batman film, The Dark Knight, can't leave breaking every box office record in history. Arr. Is at some level a pain of praise to the fortitude and moral courage that has been shown by George W. Bush. Arr. In this time of terror and war, matey. Seriously? The only thing Batman and George W. Bush have in common is that sometime late in their teens, they started dressing up in cheerleader-style costumes and then jumped around a lot. A runner-up, David Asman of Fix News, in a graphic and then verbally, the unfortunately named sub host over there said, quote, of Obama's speech, or rather, he said of uh, Obama, Barack Obama looking like a rock star in Germany today, but is the fact they love him there a red flag for Americans here? Well, obviously it is, because who would want the other countries of the world to like us again? I hate to spoil the fun, but we are not at war with the entire damned world, boys. So do our joint winners pumping up the paranoia, Billow the Clown and sidekick Laura Ingram of Obama's speech. He said, trying to rally a cowardly world against terrorism is a good thing. But he called Obama's rhetorical question, will we reject torture and stand for the rule of law, his weakest point. So Ingram says, he got up there in front of 200,000 people and he glommed on one of the most ridiculous, one of the most hateful stereotypes about America, which is that we torture. The fact that he did that on foreign soil, I think, is absolutely atrocious. And the clown added, I pointed it out, but I feel the way you do. He should absolutely not mention, that's ridiculous. I'll repeat what I said last week. The crap you guys at Fox used to make up when you were, as Scott McClellan described you tonight, Bush's means of disseminating his talking points. Your junk used to be creative and occasionally plausible. Now it just sounds like you're all stoned. We torture people. The CIA has admitted to waterboarding. We torture people. It's no stereotype, though it is hateful. In your name, O'Reilly, in your name, Ingram, torture done in your names, the same way the terrorists do it. Bellow the Clown and Laura Ingram, today's worst persons in the world.